Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022 and we're back in our harvester, our beautiful top liner. If you recall last episode, we did take a little contract here to uh, harvest some canola from this field and had to sell most of it to a competitor. But we have a little that made its way to our oil mill production. We also harvested a field over yonder. Uh, there? There? I think it was over there. Uh, for some wheat, we got to test drive a new harvester, which, you know what, it was nice. I like the John Deere, but I think we can do better. Now, we could start harvesting here, but we're going to do better. We are going to go and get a new harvester. So let's go to the store. Before we actually go buy a harvester, we're going to wheel up ours into the uh, store sell point here. We'll make a little bit more money. Let's hop out and we will come over to Mr. Fix it here. So we will. Let's repair it. I think it ends up being the same amount of money at the end of the day. Uh, and we will fix the condition anyways. We won't bother about painting it. So let's sell this. And there we go. So we have $215,000. So if we come over to the store, we come into Harvesters. Now this John Deere was the one we were looking at, which we don't have enough money for. However, um, you know, we could, wait a minute. That's a, no wait, we just sold that one. If we come all the way over, I did go into Mod Hub and I downloaded this John Deere STS 70 series. So $162,000 base, which we can afford. Now we will come in and we'll put an extension on here. So as you can see, we go from 10,000 liters. We can go all the way through here. Not sure exactly what some of those do, but that's 13,000, 15,000, almost 16,000. And we went all the way through, did we? Okay, so we can get this one, the full Mauer tip-up factory static. Or the carry big top. But I like this one. Even though it's $10,000, only $1,500 more. The Michelin Man works for me. Uh, I don't think we need about the CB radio, but let's throw the beacon lights on. I rarely turn them on, but hey, $491. We're at the dealer. Not sure what the triangle is what is a triangle oh, okay there's a little now for 300 dollars. no you should know to stay away uh we won't worry about the green star the number is kind of cool so if you had multiple harvesters uh we're unlikely to get more than this one we'll throw our rear hitch on now the engine setup we can come back i think we will worry about upgrading this later but as you can see, we can get a more powerful uh, engine in here. The pipe, I think we do want to extend it. So that's $3,800. Get a little foldable pipe. I don't think we really need that. Or we get the super long one. I think this nearly seven meter one is, is pretty good. Uh, I don't know if the rear axis is going to help us, so I think we'll leave that off for now. And this does stuff. Not exactly sure. Uh, not a farmer, so but I think the, the base model there is fine. So that comes to $176,556, so let's buy it. And now we need a header. So let's come into here, headers. See if we can find the John Deere. Uh, probably this one. So actually let's go back in. The combinations, yeah, so this one will work. I would like a more, ooh. That would work if we had the money, which we currently don't. Hmm. Well then, 
I think what we need to do is make a little money. We've loaded up our wilting lettuce. I mean, this lettuce is great. It's only been sitting outside our greenhouse for a while. You know, what, what could go wrong? But hopefully this will make us a little bit of extra money, even though it's not necessarily the best time to sell. It's, it's okay. Um, and what's nice is it's just the greenhouse. The other one we can look at is honey. Because basically this is water. Honey is, is just the bees doing its, their thing. If we come into here. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Some nice, easy, easy money. There we go. That $12,000 almost put us up and over. Uh, a little pun there as we uh, go up and over the pavement. So I think now we can go get our header. Now, I really wish I had this for uh, the previous harvest, but it is what it is. Ooh, speaking. No, we have it on. Wanted to make sure we had the uh, straw swath enabled. And we do which is good news. So hopefully this is a little quicker. The uh, There's definitely more room in this harvester, so won't have to stop as often. But we will also need to look at getting a bigger header. I'm not sure if those more expensive ones can fit on this. Gonna have to research that. But we didn't have the money for that anyways. At least not yet. And as well, we have the opportunity to further upgrade uh, the engine, so hopefully it'll make the harvesting a little faster, because we are still limited by the 10 kilometers per hour. But I have a feeling that's an actual limitation, but we'll find out as we continue to upgrade through more powerful harvesters. But this is looking good. Loving it. And uh, we'll have to look. We'll likely have to lease, and I think we'll lease it anyways, the sunflower header that we'll need for a sunflower field, but we are still a few months away from needing that. But I am hoping that uh, this was a wise investment because it did cost us a pretty penny to get. That's fine. I don't mind the investment. And it's also nice to have uh, some new equipment to uh, play with. And although we uh, didn't buy the John Deere we had used in the episode in our last, well, in the contract in the last episode, we're still staying within the John Deere family, which is good. Um, this is, no, sorry, sadly, no affiliate links. Otherwise, uh, Yes, I, uh, I can make lots of money off of selling fake uh, John Deere harvesters. No, uh, that would be nice, but no, no commissions here for John Deere or from John Deere. I'm liking it. Now, I am being a little more cautious or not as cheeky as... Uh, I have been. I am going to do a tad bit of overlap because, uh, you know, I do have that bit of Elm Creek drift that occurs when I'm driving, so probably a little too much of a cushion there, but we'll find out the uh, sweet spot for this. But in the meantime, we're going to finish uh, harvesting uh, this field.
finish this field here. Got that little bit, that little bit of the triangle left, which is nice. This cab is also pretty nice. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, if you notice, it says neutral, forward, reverse. So that is pretty sweet that those icons are actually changing. And the speed looks to be about, uh, is changing as well. That is pretty cool. That is nice. Wow, and we're full. Well, not full, we're at 65%. So let's get uh, on to our next little task. Before we get on to actually collecting uh, our wheat, we are gonna come over here and do a little mulching on our fields. Because I don't want, uh... oops, uh, okay, let's loop back around. I don't want every episode just to be completing one uh, one job type, which you know I could do the harvest and then you know collect it and drop it off at the silo at a sell point. So now that our farm has expanded, uh, we've got many more jobs to do. Is we can uh, take care of various things, and these front fields need to be mulching. I'm still debating what we're going to do with them. Um, you know, we could replant the canola for another season or turn them into some grass fields, which is one of the things I'm leaning towards. So I'll be honest, don't like that turn there. It's a very tight fence line there. But once you get full bore here, it's pretty good. So, you know, as we were discussing there previously is... Yeah, turn temper on your grass fields, make us some money from the silage, and then what we can do is, uh, you know, you know, I've got some ideas for these yards, you know, make them into uh, more storage yards, at least one of them. Don't foresee putting any cows or animals right in front of our house. Could be in the back corner. Not too, too sure, but those are options for sure. But we're, you know, our farm equipment is growing and we really don't have any great storage uh, solutions for them. Not a fan of that red barn there. You know, we do have our beehive here, so, you know, there's things to consider. But, you know, it'd be an entire year uh, if we planted the canola before we could do something with these fields, which is why, you know, as you can probably tell, I'm very much leaning towards putting some grass down here in the short term. And that will give us the flexibility to uh, transform these fields when we're uh, ready. And I think we're getting there. Well, we have at least one grass harvest, if not two, but something I am leaning towards. I do like this little mulcher here. Uh, we're missing parts of the field, but can't be helped at this point. Let's come up top here. Well, where we were guessing to go up and down the fields, we are just... Oh, no, okay. Uh, so I think the game is giving us a bit of leeway. Let's see if we can find the sweet spot. I don't mind not every little piece being mulched or not being mulched. Okay, with that being said, this field here, yeah, I definitely was not going straight down. So we will have to come along the edge anyways. You can definitely see where we've missed. Oh, okay. The OCD in me is, uh, which, you know, it's not too bad, but it is 
with this texture change here. So we'll just uh, finish uh, this right up. So this is the last little bit of mulching here to do on this field. And that is, should be it, there we go. So this field is good and ready for something new. But we're not here to do that uh, this episode. Gonna ponder that. This little bit of grass here too that we haven't done anything with. Egg production coming along. So this was our other canola field which we do need to mulch. Now this does have me thinking. So we have our sorghum field in the back corner. Get ourselves straightened out. What we could look at doing is making that also canola field. potentially even joining those two fields. That might be something we should look at doing. We could keep this as one large field, keep them separate. I do like actually the idea of joining these fields. I think that would be handy dandy. Because we do need to keep our oil mill production nice and strong you know what be nice and strong is better driving skills on my part but i always have a problem with these with the uh type of bar attachment but we'll come down we'll get the headland here and then i think once we come around once more say hello to our bees make sure our windows are up Actually, I like bees. Bees aren't the problem. It are those nasty, nasty hornets. Oh! Top notch driving there. So don't think we really need this path. It does cut over, though. Hmm. Not that, you know, oops. This is what happens. I do a bit of an Elm Creek drift when I try to look around a little too much with the camera. Something I do need to improve upon. I uh, 100% agree. Did receive a comment from a viewer and I believe subscriber. So I hear you, man. I hear you. I need to do uh, better than what I'm currently doing with that. So let's, uh, we'll come back over this side since we are kind of out of alignment. Actually, what we should do, and what I should have done from the other angle, or the other side of the field, is complete this portion of the headland. Because those hydropoles aren't necessarily in the best spot, especially for a piece of equipment like this. At least with my driving skills. Come around, loop around. Nice and slow. Get things started. Get things on a worker. And now we can uh, go on and collect our wheat. Did we hit the right spot? Um, kind of. Almost, we just need to pull forward just a tad. And there we go. We've got things underway in our beautiful new harvester. 
Now, the big question is, and I forgot to look, is can't we fit it all into this trailer? I think so. That wasn't a full... Ooh. Ooh. Um, let's just uh, kind of not... Oop. Not look that way. We'll just kind of ignore that little bit and uh, pretend we got it and uh, we'll have it here in a second. So I do think I got distracted by being in that first person view, but you know, mistakes happen. So we'll just come in, take this last little bit of seven liters because it is our precious. We wants it, we needs it. Unfold all that. And now we can take this back to our farm. Now we should, before we tip it into the silo, I think we'll have a little quick peek at our chickens here. Make sure they're not hungry. So come down here. Oh, yeah, they're actually low on food. So that coop. Okay, so let's come in. Now we have 10,400 liters. This is actually another problem we have with uh, oh, problem. One of the things we're going to have to think about, too, is what fields are we going to use for... Uh, wheat production. Did we miss you? Whoa, 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 sir. There we go. So we'll put about half into this chicken coop. So besides probably adding a field for more canola. We do need to ensure that we have plenty of food for our chickens. Now, actually, the sorghum field... Actually, so the sorghum field is something the chickens can eat as well. That is true. So we don't always need to do wheat. Uh, sorghum is one, and there's a third. I can't remember off the top of my head. But let's have a look to see how that did. So that, yeah. So we are definitely going to need more food. That is for sure. So maybe buying the little small field next to it, combining it, and making that just a nice little wheat field would be something good to do. We'll just park this guy right here for now. The other thing is, let's have another look at our productions here. Productions, there we go. Still have plenty of water in there. As you can see, we're making canola oil, which is good. And we'll have some sunflower oil later on. But yeah, that canola, we didn't top that up at all. Back on to our tractor with the mulcher. Let's see how well uh, the AI lined us up. Ah! Okay-ish. So this will remain a canola field at this point. We'll be able to plant canola starting next month, which is good. Like I say, maybe that field... Oh man, decisions decisions that we need to make and they're, they're a little tough here um, and maybe just maybe we should not have purchased that harvester but you know it was tempting well I was tempted it wasn't tempting because I bought it but perhaps it might have been a better play to buy another field, but we're going to make lots of money. We, we got some canola that we're going to be selling, or canola oil, I should say soon. We do have 
you know, things like honey, we got eggs that are being produced. So that's pretty good. You know, we will have some silage to sell. We might need to take on a few more uh, contracts. You know, when I look at things, we're tight for money again. We have $7,000. And if we're going to plant grass, uh, I think we've got a small little baler. We don't have a wrapper. So be a few things we need to do here in the in the near future to make a little more money. Now we can always lease certain things, but our grass empire will grow because making uh, grass for silage is good for you know some nice money makers. But as well, when you look at it. You know, with even taking on some of the contracts, either having more of your own equipment to save some money or just do things a little faster can be good. So we have things like our tether already. I think we've got a wind rower. Yeah, we've got a wind rower. So really it's the bailing and the wrapping. And I think we'll go with the combo we had last time. I think that was of good use to us. As you can see, we'll have to kind of double back here a bit. Pop up onto the road. So we just have a few more passes to make, and then we'll be uh, done with this view. Just finishing this up here, as you can tell. You know, we did miss a, a few bits and bobs, but we got it. It's all good. It is all good, I tell ya. So let's just uh, come up. Make sure we fold up our mulcher. Cut across this field, which, hmm. So we're gonna plant it. Oh, we got some canola growing here. Sorry, dude. Um, that was quick. Let me get off this field, which will likely be ours at some point in the future. So it's good to know that there is a, another canola field. Or he's replanted that as canola. Because we could use it. Uh, I don't think... Uh, actually, we'll probably need this, I believe, to mulch that field there. So let's just park things. Yeah, there's our wind rower. So if we have a look, beautiful new harvester here. Uh, next episode, we will definitely uh, bail this up. We will likely take on a contract or two because I want a better baler. Uh, so we will need some money because $7,000 is just not enough. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. And until next time. Bye for now.